Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Life with the Upper Loss. I am Nonto. I'm really excited, guys, to share uh, this recipe with you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make delicious Nigerian ofafu or bangue soup. Some people will call it or palm butter soup. I'm going to be preparing this meal for my wife who is currently uh, taking care of her newborn. So just giving her a little bit of breathing space just to cook one of her favorite meals. Hey guys, I just have a quick question for you before we get started. What's your favorite uh, meat or animal product? Do you like to cook your meal with fish or with uh, goat meat, cow meat? Let me know in the comment section. Drop me a note uh, real quick in this uh, comment section and we're gonna kick this thing off. Please like and subscribe and we appreciate your support. So to get started right here are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for this uh, recipe. Beef stripe, some beef, cow strippers, here is my chopped onion, Kenyan pepper, Himalayan sea salt, garlic powder, macro fish, basil you can use in channel if you prefer here is my dry fish and local beans or ogiri bay fresh pepper crayfish and palm cream go ahead and add all your meat in a pot i'm gonna say that most folks in america just can't stand intestines like liver uh, stripes Look guys, you are missing out. <laughs> but anyway, add all your meat, chopped onion, one tablespoon of ground pepper, two tablespoons of garlic powder, and four tablespoons of Himalayan salt. Add about six cups of water to fill the meat and cover the pot. Let it cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. While your meat is cooking, go ahead and prepare your fish for baking. I have already washed mine. I have three uh, medium uh, macro fish here. I will be cooking this for just about five to seven minutes. One great thing about macro fish is that it tastes pretty good by itself, so it requires minimal spicing. I'm gonna be using just a one uh, medium onion chopped garlic powder and then uh, some salt. I'm not going to be adding a lot of water because I don't want to retain the flavor. So I'll be adding just about a cup of water. Cover the pot and let it cook for 7 minutes and then you will take it out and toss it into your oven. Preheat your oven at 360 degrees Fahrenheit and let it bake for about 20 minutes. Now if you like a crunchy type of fish, you might want to let it uh, bake a little bit longer and I like mine crunchy. And I will show you how it turns out when it's ready. Let's take a quick look at the meat. Yup, this looks pretty good. I just love what I see. The smell, everything is just coming out together. I must say that not all meat are created equal. Uh, the beef tends to cook a little bit faster than the, uh, the intestine or even the, the stripes. So for that reason, I'm gonna be pulling out uh, my beef so that it doesn't overcook. You can leave yours if you like yours uh, super tender, but I don't like mine that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all the beef for now and let the the intestine, the, the tree purse, and the shaku or the beef stripe to cook just a little bit longer. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I'll be using palm butter for this recipe. Be sure to clean the top, the lid before you pop it. And then in a large bowl, transfer your palm cream. Once you transfer all your palm cream uh, into a bowl, then uh, go ahead and add your hot water. I've, I've boiled mine already. Once you pour the hot water, mix it gently. Just make sure that everything dissolves uh, well. Uh, as you can see, unfortunately, the, the, I'm using a, quite a bit of uh, palm butter for this uh, soup. For that reason, I have to transfer some to a different bowl so it gives me the enough room to really make sure that the, the, the butter dissolves well. In a large pot, transfer your dissolved uh, palm butter and one thing guys you want to be careful is just want to keep an eye on the bottom you don't want to transfer everything as you can see here the bottom uh, has all these uh, black uh, particles I don't even know what to call it a little bit sandy make sure that you get rid of those 
I'll cover the pot now and let this cook for a couple of minutes, about 30 to 40 minutes just to let it dry. Okay guys, as you can see here, my palm butter has dried out quite a bit. And this is really the right consistency that I want because the next thing now is to add my the meat broth and the fish broth, as you can see. Basically, this is the water from the meat as well as the water from the fish. Go ahead and add one large chopped onion. Cover the pot and let it cook for about 15 minutes. If you like your ofaku to be super thick, then you can let it cook for a little bit longer just to get the right consistency that you desire. Next, I'll grind these three ingredients in a blender. I have my crayfish right here. And then this is locust beans, or bay or iru in Yoruba. And then uh, some pepper. By the way, this pepper, I got it from my garden. Be sure to check out our garden video. Pretty cool. As you can see, guys, this is looking pretty good. I'm really excited for this soup. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I'll transfer the ground ingredient uh, into the soup. And then I'll add my dry fish. I've already washed it in hot water. And next is the beef. If you recall, I pulled this out a little bit earlier along. I want to add it now so that it can cook and marinate with the whole soup. I'll now add the remaining meat and then stir it for a couple of seconds. I'll cover the pot now and let this cook for about 15 minutes just to allow the soup and the meat to marinate. I'm sure I'm not the only one guys here who is dreaming about eating an authentic, delicious banga soup popularly known as Ofaku. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you're thinking so far. Do you live in Nigeria or in diaspora? When long did you eat Ofaku soup? Let me know in the comment section because I haven't had this in a long time and I'm really excited guys to enjoy this soup uh, later on today. What you see here guys is about four cups of excess oil that I scooped out from the pot. Again, uh, if you wanna keep yours, that's fine, but I thought this was excess oil. And be on the lookout for another video. I'm gonna be using this oil for okra soup and pottage yam or porridge yam. I'm really excited for those two videos. Next, I'll add my baked fish. I bake this for about 25 minutes because I like mine to be a little bit crunchy. If you don't like yours, then probably around 15 to 20 minutes should be fine. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you know whenever we post new videos, which we do every week. We post recipes from time to time as well as some other uh, fun family related videos. And we truly appreciate all your support. I'll cover the pot and let it cook for another five minutes. Well guys, after five minutes, look at what we have. This is really the right consistency that I'm looking for. Very, a little bit on the thick side. The last step here is to add your leaf. For this, I'm using a basil leaf. Unfortunately, I don't have a scent leaf or in chuang. So this is an alternative for you if you don't have access to scent leaf. Once I add my scent leaf, I'll give it a gentle stir cover the pot and turn off the stove and we are done again guys i really appreciate you watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like this video if drop me a note in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do and share with someone who might be interested to learn how to cook this special nigerian dish uh, ofaku or banga soup thank you guys and i look forward to seeing you in another video